Hi everybody, this is Glenn Gorhauser from Church on the Park and Holy Fire Ministry Training School. And today I wanna to talk to you about how you can be a life giver. So I have four points on how you can be a life giver. But first, I wanna share with you John 10.10 10 and what Jesus said. He said, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So Jesus came that we would have an abundant life. The first thing I wanna share with you is life lives in you. If you have Jesus in you, if you uh, have received him into your heart, life lives in you. That means God's life, God's very own life lives in you. And uh, this is the first step of being a life giver is having God's life in you, realizing that life is in you. Now there's something amazing about life. Life is, uh, by, by its very nature, wants to multiply and give and prosper. And so the second point I want to share with you is that intercession births life. Intercession births life. Now, what, what's intercession? Intercession is like a deep, intensive kind of prayer for another person. It's the Holy Spirit praying through you. It's the life of God praying through you, especially to give birth to new life. Now this reminds me of my home church. My home church is Abundant Life Christian Fellowship, and now it's changed names. Uh, but when I uh, first got saved there, it was Abundant Life Christian Fellowship. And uh, I didn't, uh, that wasn't the church I uh, was grew up in but I started to date one of the girls in the church and the mothers were wor worried here is this guy a worldly DJ I didn't uh, know God personally I didn't have a personal relationship with God so they were all worried they began to pray for me and they prayed all of them would gather around and they would they would pray for me and as they were praying the Holy Spirit began to convict me of sin I realized that I was a sinner and I needed Jesus grace and I didn't just uh, need to know about him I needed to know him personally and their prayers their intercession caused me to be born again and I received Jesus so I want to encourage you if you have life in you it's time to pass that life on to another and everyone that gets saved gets saved because someone prayed for them so pray. Uh, first, Jesus prayed for us. He made intercession for us on the cross. But now he wants to pray for the people. He wants us to pray for the people in our life. So pray. And as you pray, uh, the Holy Spirit moves and touches people's lives and begins to turn their heart toward him. So realize life is in you. Uh, intercession births life. Also, forgiveness restores life and sustains life. Uh, part of what intercession is, is extending forgiveness to someone. They don't deserve God's mercy and grace, but you're praying that they would be forgiven and no forgiveness. And sometimes it's very difficult to forgive somebody because they've done things uh, that are painful. But forgiveness is the way of life and the way for someone to experience life. So life lives in you. Intercession births life. Forgiveness uh, restores and sustains life. And the last thing I want to share with you is embrace the tree of life. In the beginning, there was a choice between two trees, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. Now, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil uh, seemed desirable for gaining wisdom, but in the end, it brought death. But the tree of life, it imparts life. Jesus is our tree of life. We eat from him. We eat from his words. The very leaves of, his, uh, of the pages of scripture bring us healing. And so uh, embrace the life that's in the tree of life. Eat of that tree. Don't get stuck in what this person did, what that person did, unforgiveness, that robs life. But be one who eats life, who eats the scripture, and then gives life to others. And all of those things spell life. Life lives in you, intercession births life, forgiveness restores and sustains life, and then the E, embrace the tree of life. Today, I'm gonna pray for you that you would be a giver of life. Father, I pray for everyone listening to this, that they would be a giver of life. They would intercede and pray for people around 
them to experience life. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.